Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I've got a another Zara haul. I placed an order on Zara because I wanted to order a few of the new in bits and show you what was new in on the Zara website because I feel like their clothes at the minute are just amazing. But literally everything that I clicked on was sold out and that I wanted was sold out. I still managed to pick up quite a lot considering that a lot of what I wanted was sold out. But I feel like you just have to be so quick on Zara. Like as soon as something comes in on the new in you just got to like get it straight away because pretty much everything that I wanted on the new in was sold out in my size. So yeah, but I wanted to show you a few of the bits that they've got on their new in at the minute I don't think everything that I got was from the new in But I'm pretty sure the majority of it is all new in stuff that you might be interested in But yeah, I'm just going to show you everything that I picked up And obviously I will link everything in the description box if you're interested in any of these pieces Let's just show you what I got Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is I picked up another pair of these Bermuda shorts I feel like everyone and their nan has these shorts at the minute They were sold out in this colour in my size, but I managed to pick them up Basically, if you haven't watched my previous style hauls, I picked these Bermuda shorts up in the mid blue in an eight and i felt like they fit fine and everything like that but as soon as i started wearing them i don't know whether like my stomach stretched them or i don't know but the waist was just like gaping and you know something's making you look really big and um, so i ended up ordering the black pair because they were the only pair in my size and stock in a six and they fit a lot better and so i do feel like these run a little bit big because i definitely am not a six in shorts they had the six in the light wash so i thought i'd pick these up i just love these denim shorts so much if you aren't a fan of um like really tight denim shorts that kind of show like too much of you at the back i also wear mine rolled down especially with the six as well with them rolled up they're quite tight on my thighs so i kind of need to wear them rolled down but i like that look it's very much like a mum fit look of this wash of denim as well with white i feel like this would look really nice i actually would look really nice with this cropped denim jumper i've got on i feel like this would look really nice together yeah if you haven't checked out these shorts and you do struggle with denim shorts i would really recommend and they're only 20 pounds the only struggle is actually trying to get them i'm pretty sure they were all sold out except from the six in this color so you just have to kind of keep on top of the website and keep checking because they are really worth it i wanted to show you a few other denim shorts that i picked up as well i know i said that i don't like like short denim shorts that show too much but I thought these looked really nice on the website and I really wanted a white pair of denim shorts for a while. These are like high rise um, distressed ones. The only thing is I am kind of worried about the length of them. They just look a little bit short and especially with like my thighs. I feel like they're not that flattering when they're really short. It kind of looks like my thigh is trying to break free from the shawl but i thought i'd give them a go anyway these were again only 20 pounds i got them in a white they sort of got buttons all the way down and also what i like is the buttons go quite low down so they're a lot easier to like get over um your bar i haven't actually tried these on yet but when they go low down like a zip or buttons they're usually a little bit easier to get on but i just thought these were really nice in a white and i also picked them up in their blue wash i love this wash of denim it's kind of like i know this is definitely not the right word but it's kind of reminds me of like a dirty denim do you know what I mean? Was that just completely the wrong word? But again, got these in an eight and they were £25. They're just sort of distressed at the bottom. Um, I don't know, like I said, See, like, I feel like that could cover my bum, but then also I don't know whether it's going to. I do love the mum fit short, but sometimes I do, you know, want a more of a, like, tight denim short for that sort of vibe. But so I thought I'd try these pairs out. And like I said, I do really want a white pair of denim shorts. I feel like just, like, a white crop top and white sandals. It's just like a holiday look you know so i thought i'd give them a go but i don't have the highest hopes like i said denim shorts are difficult like with my thighs and like my hips and stuff so they probably fit fine on other body types but i just personally struggle with them the next thing i picked out was this cropped shirt this is a really odd material like it's kind of giving me like denim vibes it almost feels like a shirt crossed with denim it's really thick and sturdy i just thought this was quite cool so it's quite a structured crop top it is cropped by the way I got this in a small and it was 26 pounds so it's quite a structured shirt but i just thought maybe this with like my um black bermuda mum shorts that i got from zara might look quite cool i don't really know i feel like it looks cool in the model but now i've got it out i'm just like i don't even know how i'd wear this i don't know whether it's a bit too smart i'm not sure whether it would suit me but it is a really cool top i'm just not sure now that i've got it what i'd actually wear it with to be honest it's also quite oversized so i don't know whether it's going to be that flattering it also has these two large like pocket details on the front here i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see because it is white there's like two large pockets at the front which looks quite cool yeah it's a really cool top i'm just not sure whether i'm actually going to wear it now that i've got it and it's like this heavy like almost denim -y material yeah i'm not sure that i'm going to wear that but we'll see how it looks on the try on clip okay the next thing i feel like you're going to get sick of seeing in my hauls because i feel like i've bought three million of these lately but it's just a plain spaghetti strap white crop top i literally bought this exact same thing from asos in my last um was this my last haul 
in my last ASOS haul, I literally bought this, but I feel like I wear them all the time. Like these spaghetti straps, simple crop tops that you can get from like Primark, ASOS, those sort of places. I literally wear all the time with mum jeans, mum shorts, skinny jeans, like with a cardigan over them. Like they're just the easiest crop top. But this is a really nice material. It's so soft. It is ribbed and very, very stretchy. I got it in white because I have said in my past hauls, like I don't have a lot of white crop tops. I mean, now I do because in every single haul I've said that and bought like three. But this was only £8. I got it in extra small to small. They only do extra small to small and then medium to large, which is kind of weird. But then again, like this is so stretchy. Like I feel like if you were a medium, you could easily get this. Like it's really quite, look at that so stretchy is this like double spaghetti strap i'm not sure if you can see but it like loops around it's like a double spaghetti strap do you can realize that on the website yeah not much to say really i feel like i have a ton of these but i don't know if it's just me but i wear these all the time like these in black and white just go with everything a little shirt over the top of them they're just really easy so i picked that up and i'm sure they did do them in other colors but they might have been sold out the next thing i picked up was this dress which i think is so cute it's this really nice florally dress i don't even know what the colors are there's so many colors in there it's like pink blue orange yellow like there's a lot of colors but it's going to be hard to show you, but it's a roughly v-neck dress with these sort of like puffy sleeves. It then cinches around the waist with this little stretch waist and then goes out to two pleats. I just thought this was really sweet. I feel like it's a really nice dress to wear with some sandals, like a little lunch. But even with some white trainers, I feel like we look quite cool as well. I don't know whether it's like too girly to wear the white trainers. I'm going to try because if you watch my hauls then you know... I say white trainers to everything. It's like basically all I wear. I just really liked it. I feel like this is going to be very flattering as well. The only thing is the top half is like very see-through. So I don't know what I would wear to cover myself up. I don't know why they only double laid the bottom half and not the top. It's kind of weird. Um, I got this in a small and it was 30 Oh, it was £30. I didn't know it was that expensive. I thought it was 25 for some reason. But just a really sweet dress to wear out to lunch or something like that or to the park for a picnic. I just feel like it's a really sweet dress but also quite cool as well. Next thing I picked up were these khaki cycling shorts and these feel, but they like feel like, I think it's a swimming costume. They feel like a swimming costume. Like so silky. They are a little bit long as well. I'm not sure if they're just supposed to be super high waist or they are a long cycling short. But I actually wanted these in the black but shock they were sold out so i picked them up in the car key actually i think these might be quite cool with like white trainers um <laughs> like a white jumper might look quite good together a little bit different because i do own black cycling shorts the actual material of these are so nice i don't think it's going to be see-through either because it is a thicker material it's so slinky and do you know what with cycling shorts they're like that cottony material aren't they in black i always wear them on hot days but they're actually not very cool like i feel like they that material goes really horrible when you're sweating it's like bit gross these however i feel like would be good in the summer because they're like slinky so the sweat wouldn't be do you know what i mean you probably don't and i'm just gross these were only 10 pounds so i definitely want to pick these up in the black i pretty i don't know what they did them in white they actually might have been nude but i don't really like nude sack and shorts i feel like you just look like you're naked so this is an oversized white shirt and they had a ton of these on their new in they had like a really really nice lilac one which was sold out i picked it up in a white color but the only thing is i feel like it is completely different to how it looked on the website on the website she had it tucked into like um i'm pretty sure she had it tucked into the mum shorts actually and it was like oversized but i don't know it, looked, it just looked cool and slouchy but i don't know i've already tried this on because i was most excited about this shirt to tuck into the mum shorts but i just don't really like it it's just it's very very big i'm not sure what size she was wearing but this is a small and it's very big um it's longer on the at the back but almost like too much longer on the back yeah i feel like i'm just moaning about this whole shirt but i'm just not the biggest fan of it on i was really excited about it because on the model it looked really like slouchy and cool with like an oversized like open sort of shirt but it's just like almost too oversized maybe if i got an extra small I'm um, not really sure, but just like the sleeves, I think are supposed to be three quarter length, but it just kind of looked weird because they were so big and like, yeah, I just wasn't the biggest fan of this on. This was £26, but maybe if I sort of sized down and maybe got like the lilac version when it's in stock, I might like it. Just was a bit disappointed in how it looked. It wasn't really how I imagined. To be fair, I did try it on with some skinny jeans I just bought from ASOS. Um... So it wasn't really the look that I had in mind anyway. I wanted to wear it with the mum shorts. So maybe I'll try it on with the mum shorts in the try on clip so you can see what it looks like. I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it just is huge. Like, it's just a huge shirt. And it almost looked, yeah, just too big and a bit too 
scruffy basically yes yeah, so i picked that up but i yeah i think i'm going to take that back it's not really the look that i wanted again if you watch my other hauls you're going to be sick of me showing stuff like this but i bought another pair of mum jeans because like i always say i'm always on the hunt for a perfect mum jean i feel like my legs are really difficult i've got quite like thick um like calves I think it's the calf that I'm talking about. Um, and it just makes mum shorts really difficult because they look like skinny jeans on me and they just don't look right. So I picked up a pair of Zara jeans and I feel like I'm looking at these and I already know they're not going to fit. They are a lovely mum jean. They're a really nice wash of blue, high-waisted. And they look like they've got a really nice width to them. If you have like thinner legs or just, I don't know, normal legs, I don't know. Um, I feel like you should definitely check these out because they do look really nice. But I just don't think I'm going to get these on. I got them in a size 8 and they were £26. I just think they're going to be too tight around my thighs and my leg. I don't know, they just don't look wide enough for me. I guess this is like the normal width of a mum jean. But it's just not good enough for me and my chubby legs. Also ankle length as well. But yeah, I feel like these look really nice. And if you don't struggle with mum jeans, then definitely check these out because they were well priced as well. Well, but I just I don't think they're gonna fit me. I don't feel like this has been the most successful of hauls, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't tried it all on except from the shirt, but I don't know. I was just really excited for this haul to come and I was really happy with the bits that I picked out, but now that I'm getting them out, I'm just I don't know, I'm not that excited about them. Okay, so this dress I absolutely fell in love with on the website. I just feel like it looks so expensive. I feel like you'd find it somewhere on like Harrods or something. I don't know what brand but I feel like it'd be on Harrods or something. It's really cool blue and white print. The shirt dress and then it cinches in around the waist and flows out. The only thing is this was £50. It was an expensive dress and I did end up getting two just because I really liked it so I wanted to make sure they fit right. But now that it's came i'm sorry to moan again but it's like really thin it's a very thin material i don't feel like it feels like 50 pound at all it just feels yeah really really thin i don't know i just feel like for 50 pounds it's so expensive in zara that's like more of their expensive range and i just feel like it doesn't feel like it but the dress itself is really cool i do feel like the actual look of it is quite expensive just not necessarily the feel of it it's a shirt dress so just in around the waist and then sort of flows out like that I thought this with some white sandals or some heels, I sort of imagined it to like a family meal or yeah I don't know what I was imagining it to really, I probably wouldn't even wear it because I don't know where I would, I don't know where I'd go that's sort of, I feel like this is a little bit fancy or maybe like a barbecue dress with some white slider sandals, I don't really know but I bought two of them, I bought a small and an extra small and um, the only thing that I'm sort of disappointed about is the material, it does feel a little thin. £50, pounds, but then again, if it was thicker, I feel like it would be quite uncomfortable and you wouldn't be able to, like, breathe. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just in a moany mood today, but yeah, I picked that dress up. This is the small. The last thing I picked up was, again, another dress, and I love this dress. The colours of this just scream, like, summer. I just think it's so pretty. It has these coloured flowers all over it. It's quite a low V, so I'm not sure how that's going to look on. It has a little bit of a keyhole. Is that called a keyhole? Or did I just completely make that up? It's got like a bit of a hole there and a zip at the back. It's difficult to show you, but it kind of puffs out the sleeves. It's interesting around under your like boob area and flows out with a sort of ruffle at the bottom. I just loved the colours of these. I love sort of dresses like this that sort of hang almost like it's tight at the top and then from like the boob bit under it just flows. It's really good for going out in the summertime because it's not um, uncomfortable, it's really cool and breathable. Colours are just so nice. These with some white sandals or some white Birkenstocks. Or some white trainers would look really cool. Got this in a small and again it was £30. I don't know why but when I'm looking at this dress I'm just picturing it with blonde hair. Like long big blonde hair. I do not have not even close to blonde hair. If you do I feel like this would really suit you. Oh it also has buttons running all the way down the end. Did I even say that? I don't know if you can see but it's like buttons sort of go in with the print and the colour um, along down the end as well. But yeah really pretty easy summer dress to have. So that is everything that I picked up from Zara. I don't feel like this was the most successful of hauls. I'm sorry if it felt like I was just moaning the whole way i don't know i just felt a little bit disappointed with the things i'd picked out like i said i was really excited when i went on the new inn and there was like so much that i wanted to pick up and this was quite an expensive order and i can't say that i love a lot of it i don't know the materials the shapes are just a little bit off it's a little bit disappointing especially when it all comes to like quite a lot of money so i probably will take some of this back but i'm going to try it on now and show you what it looks like on but i hope you enjoyed this haul anyway and got a few ideas of what's in their new inn on their website zara hauls are one of my favorite hauls to film and i love their sort of different styles across the their website but yeah i mean i'll see what they look like tried on it's hard to tell isn't it when you're holding something up to when it's actually on it can look completely different but anyway i'm rambling now so i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy zara hauls and would like to see more hopefully a little bit more successful ones and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye